Hey guys, welcome back to American Made RC. Today, I'm going to show you a little bit about some of the problems I've got. My Red Cat Gen 7 here, she's got a little bit of a dif differential problem. I got the entire uh, axle taken off um, of the truck entirely. Uh, I took it all apart, found out that my get, uh, differential on the inside, it's plastic. And that was stripped. Um, so basically I got to get a new, uh, differential. I'm just going to get an aluminum one, um, and, and see, I know what people say, you know, if you're going to upgrade something to aluminum, something else is going to break. Well, that's not always the case. This is my, uh, slash two wheel drive that I built like entirely. I've got aluminum parts all over this thing. The blah, uh bulkhead to you know the shock caps to the shocks are not um to uh aluminum turnbuckles to caster blocks and your steering axles and your axle carriers in the back and your i mean i've got aluminum parts all over this thing not all over um my uh your steering knuckles are upgraded it all depends on what you upgrade on a vehicle that really depends on what else you will break. Um, see, one thing with my racing slash here, you can see that I got my uh, my caster blocks and the uh, 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 stub axle carriers, the turning stub axle carriers are aluminum too. Well, originally my stub axle carriers were plastic. I raced this truck, I raced this truck once in a race, and I was driven into the wall, some guy had caught the, my, caught the back of me, and drove me into a wall, and I broke one, and, and I went from there, I, I said, okay, I had some spares, so I fixed it, I raced it again, that race was fine, and I raced it again. And the guy, and not the same guy did it to me, but another guy did it to me, ran me into the wall again. And this time he just hit the side of my car and drove me into the wall. And the tire, front tire hit the wall and that's where it broke. Um, I actually have the pieces here. I'll get, I believe I do. Oops, wrong door. See, here's the, this is the second one. This is the first one. See where that one broke. See where that one broke. And this is the second one. Like, same thing happened to it. So I said, you know what? And I got all sorts of spare parts in here. I got from a bulkhead to, I got spare drive shafts, caster blocks. Um, I got more of these. I could think of this my, I got two more of these. Um, I got all my original turnbuckles and everything off that truck that I got all the aluminum parts. Everything off this I have spares for. And I broke, so after that second one, I decided, you know what, I know that it's worked on this, on this truck to have, to have those upgraded to aluminum, so I upgraded these to aluminum, and I just decided that that's what I, that's what I thought my best bet was. So with this, I'm, I'm going to get, in a, I'm, with this axle, I'm going to get aluminum diff, um, aluminum differential, and see how well that holds up. I'm hoping that it holds up really well, actually. Um, just because I this truck has been really good to me uh, lately. This is honestly, uh, this is this probably the second thing I've broken on this truck: the differential in the front, and then um, the bumper carrier. Uh, uh, bumper adjustments. I broke those once too, and I just upgraded those to aluminum. Now they're fine. Now I have I have had absolutely no troubles with them. Um, so I guess I'm just I just decided I was gonna get aluminum uh, aluminum ones. I might get an aluminum one for the front too, but as of right now, I'm just gonna stick with aluminum for the back. Because that's where most of the power is pushed to. 
So basically I'm just gonna stick with that. One other thing I did, a couple other things I did with this truck is, you see this front or rear bumper? I got lights. I got LED lights that I got for plow, for when I plow snow. I got one here that shines down like right on the axle. And then these two shine in the back corners to kind of show me, um, kind of show me what, um, if I were, if I were in the truck, if I were backing up and if I looked at it, what would it, what, what it would show me. I got this LED light bar up top. Um, I got, I don't know if you guys remember, I have, uh, two white lights and then an orange light here. Uh, the one orange light was burnt out. So I got that fixed. I got a new light for it and plugged it in. And here I got to unplug these wires quick. So I'll put you guys down. Alrighty guys, I'm back. So as you can see under here, this blue and black wire is for my light bar. I had to go through the body. Um, which this is my new light for my orange, the orange light. Um, everything is runs into this splice um all the lights and everything this blue this blue and black wire runs into this control box this is actually uh for tracks this is for the trx4 but i was able to make it work for what i wanted it for um this is all run into another splice um and basically that's really it um as you guys know i do have a winch on this truck uh winch wires run down here along under here up to this control box this control box then has its own two wires which i soldered into this xt90 connector these are the power cables for the actual esc and then these are all the two thicker cables are for the uh ESC and the two smaller cables are for my winch because my winch can run on a on a 2s lipo um, This is what I really what I run the truck on I switched all of my batteries over to the XT90 connectors all of my trucks are over to XT90 connectors this truck I took the uh, brushless system out and put it in this um, my connect 4 has an XT90 connector uh, my boat has an X has had an XT90 connector um, I got a little talking to do about that. That's exciting. Um, but yeah, other than that, I figured, you know, instead of having to, instead of running a, a smaller two, a smaller 2S LiPo in here, so I have to have two batteries, if I can just run it into one battery, if I have enough milliamps, why wouldn't I just run it into one battery? That made the most sense to me. So... Really from there, I got all those lights, um, everything, yeah, it's it's kind of a wiry mess, but I understand it all, I understand where it's all going and where it's all at, and I, I pretty much understand everything, um, which is really what matters, I guess. You guys just need to see, you guys just want to see the final product, but uh, my winch still works, um, I'm really, really excited to get the plow on this truck and get this truck running. Um, get the differential put back in it. And the plow, I got a few things for the plow here. I got to get the plow out. A few things that I'm going to do differently for it. Um, so you guys know this is my plow. Uh, you guys know that this is just like some styrofoam type ordeal. Um, I'm going to pull that off. I got new pieces cut for it. I believe I, I know I have those new pieces for it. I just don't quite remember where they're at. Um, this is what happens when you got too much stuff guys. Oh, there they are. So as you can see, I, uh, I got some new rubber pieces. And this is like an actual like rubber type. It's hard to, I'm gonna drill, drill holes in there. I'm gonna put that there so that it's rough, so that it'll hold the snow. I got this piece 
it's yeah it's, it's a little messed up but i'm gonna make it a little bit nicer than what it is and this piece is gonna go up top here like this um then you got i got this is where i hook my winch into um i'm gonna paint these orange for your side markers so you can when you're in the truck you kind of know where your truck's at and that's honestly about it for that for that uh for this truck so this truck is going to get the plow back on it um honest i actually uh, one other thing is i'm thinking about making this plow a little bit wider so then if i wanted because what i'm also thinking is getting another set of these rims so i can put in the back and then i'll get another set of these tires to put in the back so basically um in the back this is what it would look like in the back i'd have two duels in the back and here so this is what the rig would look like i'd have two duels in the back and uh, a single set in the front and i want to make it wide enough to where if i wanted to put you know you guys have seen where how i put my slash tires on there how i put these tires these tires on there also I have two back here and one in the front if i wanted to put those on there that i could do that also and, and still be wide enough to where i cover my entire the entire the entire path of my truck but that's all just kind of a, a a plan right now whether i'm gonna go through with it or change my mind or think of something else that's another that's a different deal so um next thing on the agenda is my little 116 scale e rebo um you guys have all seen this before i believe i race this in a couple races um i ran a 3s on it i don't know how well the electronics are right now uh she kind of got overheated um here i can plug it in we'll see see how well she's attacking plug this battery in sorry guys i really like this car it's actually quite fast now um which is really really good which makes me really happy okay i don't remember i got so many remotes heck i got three there i got two remotes up there i got th three remotes up there i got a Jato remote there i need to mark them i guess I, i'll have to look at the uh well she's she'll turn on now whether she'll keep going whether she'll move is a different deal. If it's having troubles, um, I do have the stock uh, ESE, the brushed ESE, which I really don't want to put in this. But if this motor and ESE took a crap, I may end up doing that. Um, I might get the Traxxas Valenion system for this too. I'm not quite sure. I don't know exactly what I want to do with it yet. Um, I love this truck. Uh, I don't know if I got if I showed you this or not, but I used to run these Proline tires on it, which I loved because it gave it a little bit more height. But the where the hex, the hex head would just strip out on them, and it was not it wasn't working out real well. So. I got the original tires that come with it. I bought these um, to run on it, and I haven't had any problems with the hex heads. So I will be running that truck a lot more. Um, you guys will see be seeing this in def. You guys will definitely be seeing this in some bashing videos if we go to the skate park again with Michael. Um, this is up for sale. I'm trying to buy another uh, slash two-wheel drive. Low center gravity chassis. Um, I'm trying to buy it to put a late model body car, which is a, a stock car. I'm trying to buy that, and I'm hoping to be able to run that. Um, I'm thinking about pulling the motor out of this 
and possibly putting it back or putting it in one of the slashes I don't know which one um, but this car I think I'm gonna get a different body for it I don't know what I'm gonna get for it but I'm gonna get a different body because as you can see body lines aren't very straight I'd love to have a Corvette body on uh, a newer one even an older one I'd love to have an older Corvette body or a newer Camaro body even um yeah that's pretty much it you guys honestly um I'm so stoked to get back working on this truck love this truck it's just not really my kind of summer truck I guess you could say um but in all reality I love this truck uh I'm so stoked um, I do have more of these LED lights, more of them, one, two, three, four, five. sorry guys, phone cut me off, but I have five more of those LED lights that I don't know where I'm going to put. I thought about, uh, putting them on my slash, um, just for, you know, nighttime runs if I wanted to. I thought about a lot of different things, but I, and I don't quite know what I'm going to do yet. But uh, anyways, guys, that's it for this for this uh, episode, I guess you could call it. Um, really, we're waiting on the differential. I'm going to order one on online, probably eBay. I love buying things on eBay. Um, but anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.